Alright guys, in this video I'm going to build a mobile wind turbine. The idea for this project I had a while ago, you'll have seen um, RVs or camper vans with windmills on the roof. So I'm seeing the stow away whilst you're driving obviously. So yeah, when you're parked up you flip the windmill up and then you've got a source of power for probably not a lot of power, maybe just for charging devices because It'd be a fair thing to have like a one kilowatt windmill strapped at roof of your camper van. So anyway, I thought I'll try and build one of them. My mate was throwing this fan out the other day. You know, it's a, it's a room fan for cooling. But just watch this in the wind. It would have been great to use this motor, but unfortunately it's unsuitable for generating electricity. So, so we'll use this one instead, which is a little DC motor off an electric scooter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off, sleeve it onto there, blob a weld, I'm not bothered, this is a bit rough this motor anyway. Put, some, put the blades on and then have myself a little windmill. <laughs> That's got it. It's quite hard to get things running true when you're welding freehand. So you've got you haven't got a jig or anything. But I've got that about right now. I use this magnetic pen. Hold it close to the spindle and then make sure the gap is consistent, it's not wobbling. Which we've got it about right there. That should run true that. Takes a bit of manipulating with a hammer and a pair of pliers, but you can get it near enough spot on that way. Okay guys, I'm not going to document the whole build, but anyway, this is where we're at. So, made this sleeve to ground the mortar, and then a bit of old road bike, steel tube, old bicycle parts these, put that bearing race, weld that bearing race onto there, and that can provide the swivel for the tail thing to catch the wind. Okay guys, there we go, and it does dismantle quite small, and I didn't show but that bit comes off there, so it is quite a mobile unit. The blades, these plastic, these plastic cooling fan blades, probably going to be too weak, but the my initial idea was to use some steel fan blades from an extractor fan. So eventually I will get some of them and upgrade these because I don't know how long they'll last but for the purpose of this project they'll be fine. So what we'll do now is we'll wait for some wind because it's as still as a mill pond today. So next day we get a bit of wind, put it up on the garage roof and see what kind of voltage it produces.
All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, guys, consider subscribing. It's free. And also, drop us a like. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.